Does your little one struggle with shampooing their own hair? Paisley and I are gonna show you how to teach your little one how to shampoo and condition their own hair. Let's do it. <laughs> So the biggest thing you want them to do is you want them to either be in the bathtub or the shower is fine as well. Best thing is running water. So if they're in the bathtub, make sure it's at the start of the bath so the water is running. They're gonna get their hair completely wet, putting their head back underneath the faucet. They're not good with that. They can lean back in the bathtub or you can take a cup and help them pour it over their head if they're a little younger and they don't like to get their face wet. So she is going to put her head underneath the faucet, get all of her hair wet. Yep. If her hair is super long or thick, you're gonna have them separate their hair and get it all wet underneath, and then we're gonna start with the shampoo. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You ready? Yep. All right, get on in. Okay, so Paisley, go ahead and start the water. Okay, Paisley, go ahead and put your head underneath the faucet. Okay, she's gonna get all of her hair wet. And then like I said, separate your hair so it gets all over. Can you separate your hair? Yep. All right, good job. How does it feel? Does it feel all wet? Yeah. Okay, now flip, okay, so get a little bit more water. You wanna make sure it feels completely wet. Okay, now flip your hair up and over. Awesome. Now, what about the top of your head? Is the top of your head wet? No. Okay, so let's get it wet. Okay, close those eyes. Lean your head back. Very good. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to turn the water off. Now we need to start with shampoo. So Paisley is going to grab the shampoo. Yep. That's the shampoo. Okay, the biggest thing is you wanna make sure that they are getting at least one pump. So as you can see, it's about a quarter size amount. Now rub it in your hands. And we're gonna start where the shampoo belong. On your scalp. Okay, so we're gonna rub it in. And I'm gonna have her take her palms and rub it flat. There you go, good job. Now you're gonna get all around your hairline. Can you do it right around your face? and then over around your ears. Put your palms on your scalp. There you go, because that's where the shampoo is. Good job. Nice, okay, now start scrubbing. I'm doing all of it. Yep, so I want you to take all those bubbles on the top and you gotta scrub it. There you go. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on getting the underneath. So we need more shampoo. Very good. And then you're gonna rub that and you're gonna put that on your scalp on the underneath. There you go, good job. Okay, so tell me, does it feel super bubbly yet? Yes, I can hear the bubble. Awesome, okay. And then I want you to take- Wait, hands off. Okay, and then I want you to take your hair and I want you to put it in the water, okay? Can you do that for me? Sure. Okay, put your head back. She's gonna get her hair all wet, so now I want you to sit up one more time, and I want you to take some more of those bubbles and rub them in really, really good. Nice, what about on the top? You have lots of bubbles on top. Okay. And take them and go like you're scratching. Yes, that's perfect. So you wanna make sure that it's like they're scratching their scalp. Obviously be super careful, don't really scratch yourself, but get all those bubbles really good. And you really wanna focus by your ears. There you go, very good. So do you feel bubbles all over? Yep. Awesome, now we're gonna- I can see the bubbles. Okay, right now here. we're gonna rinse. The most important thing when you're rinsing is you wanna get all the bubbles all out. All the bubbles. Okay, go ahead and lean back in there. Nice, so really kind of get all those bubbles out. And I always tell Paisley the biggest and easiest way to get the bubbles out is to lean her head back in a stream of water. If you have a handheld shower um, nozzle, you can do that too. That is a little bit easier for kids to um, rinse the bubbles out. But we're gonna, yeah. she did pretty good on her ends. Oh, now she's getting her face in there. Good job, babe. 
Okay, good Kay. job. Okay, so I need you to sit towel. up. Okay, she needs a towel. Okay, nice work. So she does not have all the bobbles off the top of her head, so we're gonna have her do underneath the sink. Yeah, we'll Early. use Early can use the cup. Okay, hold on, this is gonna be hot water back up for a sec. Okay, so I want you, close, yep. Pour, lean your head back. Very good. Okay, you can do a little bit more. There's still bubbles in there. Head back, head back, so you don't get bubbles in your face. Good job, here's another towel for you. Okay, now we're gonna scooch back into this, okay? Come over here and put your head under there. Cause she still has lots of bubbles. Can you hear bubbles in your ears? There you go. No. Okay, now you're gonna turn your head. This side? Yep. Nope, not that way, just turn to the side. Scoot back a little bit. Okay, there you go. Nice, because you gotta get all those bubbles in. Did you put bubbles by your ears? Okay, turn to this side, get all the bubbles off your ears. Which way are you going, that way? Okay, good job. Okay, so Paisley, I want you to feel in there. Do you feel bubbles in your hair anymore? Nope. Does it sound bubbly? Or does it nope. just sound like hair? Just sounds like hair. Okay, here's a towel. So now it's time Sometimes for- Sometimes I can't see once there's once there's water right here, sometimes I can't do that. So A lot of times I do that. So what do we do? So we do... The towel. Towel. Yeah. Okay, so now it's all about conditioner. So conditioner goes on your ends. Biggest thing, especially when they have really long hair like Paisley does, you have to squeeze all that water out. So squeeze all the water out of your bottom of your hair. Very good. So we said good. shampoo is for your scalp yep. and conditioner and is for, for your end. Very good. Okay, so we are going to do. Grab the conditioner. Yep, and we're gonna do two pumps. So one, two, since Paisley's hair is long. Good job. So that's bigger than a quarter size, but we wanna make sure her ends, since they're longer, they get really conditioned. Yep. So we take that and you're gonna start from your ears down. Good job, so can you separate your hair? There you go, and pull it to the side. This side, and then this one to this side, and then your, yup. Can you sit up a little so they can see you doing it? There you go, good job. Okay, now what about the other side? Yup. Oh. That's okay. Okay, very good. Do you need more since you got some off your hands? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now you're gonna take your fingers, Paisley, like like rakes or like a comb and you're gonna rake it through your hair use it use your fingers like they're a brush or a comb okay um a brush okay she's gonna use them like they're a brush and this is gonna get all the tangles out very good a comb doesn't get the tangles out Not a brush yeah a brush does it easy what kind of brush ah! what kind of brush do you have a pink Yep, and then you also- one and a purple one. Yep, and she has an Anna wet brush. So you yep. can also put a wet brush in their bathtub if you want, but using I your fingers, do you want to get, me, get you a wet brush? Okay. Okay, okay so this is, is my Paisley's brush. wet brush. It is- it's on the back. Anna on the back. So when they are- My mama always tells me Elsa brush. I know, I get confused. Because it's blue, and Elsa normally has blue. But it's Anna. So you can also have them take either a wet brush like this or a white tooth comb and brush the conditioner into your hair. Very good. And look at how smoothly it brushes through. No tangles, right? It doesn't hurt? Okay. Sometimes it hurts when it's not wet. No. And we don't do the bath. We don't do the camera. Yep, yeah, and sometimes it really hurts if you don't have conditioner in it. So right now we're having her brush all that conditioner in, and once all those tangles are out, now it's time to rinse. So tell me what conditioner feels like on your hair, Paisley. It feels like water. Okay. Is it, like is it soft or is it rough? It feels soft. Okay, so conditioner. That one. The shampoo, uh -huh. it feels bubbly. But conditioner should make your ends feel soft. So you wanna make sure you ask them if their ends feel super soft and smooth. If they feel any dry spots, they probably need to use a little bit more conditioner. Yep. Okay, so I think we are good and let's rinse it. Okay. 
So now she's gonna Put lean. Put the brush on this. Awesome. And then so now and she's gonna lean back, and normally she likes to do this and lean back because you don't really put conditioner on your scalp, and she just moves her head around. I can't hear you, Mom. That's okay. Can you rub up here? On the top. Good job. She's like the little mermaid. Nice. And make sure you get all that. Does it feel slimy? No. Okay. Good job. It's, I always ask them if it's sometimes slimy. Yeah, I always ask if it feels slimy because if it feels slimy, you still have conditioner on it. So you got to make sure you really rinse it out. It feels a little bit slimy. Okay, I see a little bit next to your ear. There you go. Yep. Nice. Okay, can you sit up and let's check it? Ooh, okay, can you run your hands through it? Does it feel sli slimy or does it feel soft? Um, it feels tingly. Tingly still, but is it is it slimy feeling or does when it? When it's soft, does it feel slimy? Mm -mm. Slimy, it's it just soft. it feels soft. So that's exactly how you know that you rinsed all the conditioner out is when it only feels soft. Okay, it what do you? It feels a little hard. Does it feel well? Your hair does feel hard. Does yeah. it feel okay? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna check it. Ooh, it feels very good, Paisley. Good yeah. job. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this really helps you show your little one. You can have your little one watch Paisley how she did her hair. Yep, and show your little ones the video. That way they can learn how to shampoo and condition their very own hair. Yep, Biggest. And I'm in a bathing suit. She is in a bathing suit. Because we just went to the pool today. We did, and it's always good to wash your hair after the pool and all that chlorine. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the last few tips. Easiest thing to tell them, bubbles on the scalp. So shampoo is all for your scalp. They don't really have to worry about their ends too much. Use the faucet on your bathtub or a handheld shower head to yep. really make sure you're getting all the bubbles off. If you can hear bubbles, you didn't rinse good enough, rinse, rinse, rinse all the shampoo out. And then when it's time to use the conditioner, use two pumps two pumps and where do we put it first ends the ends is for the conditioner so you put it through the ends yep take your wet brush or you can use your fingers comb the conditioner in and then when it's time to rinse you, you want to make put sure put it under the faucet the, the faucet <laughs> that's it and then, how do we know we got all the conditioner out? What is it supposed to feel like? It's supposed to feel like soft. Soft and not slimy. Okay. Hard. Yep. Super soft, not hard, no slime. Rinse really, really well. Separate your hair, put it under the faucet, use a cup, use a handheld shower head and you should be good to go. And if you want, you can use the shower. That's right. The shower's kind of hard. Yeah, sometimes it's hard for little kids. Bathtubs can be easier. Yep. Okay, bathtubs are easier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's right. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that little red subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. And don't forget and to follow. If, if you forget, then you can watch your phone again. Yeah, just keep watching, you guys. Yep, if you want, you can keep watching it every single day. Oh, we would love it. And as always, I'm on all the social media platforms, so don't forget to check out yep, my... and they will be on the TV. Yep, we'll put them right here. Right? Everywhere on the TV we put it. Everywhere on the TV. Everywhere, all right? And, and this just fall down in the bathtub oh and hit your legs. Oh my goodness. Okay, can you tell them bye? Bye. Bye. We'll see you we'll next see you time. Next time.